When you think about it, reality is in the eye of the beholder. Everyone may experience it differently, but that makes no one's less valid. One man's high is another man's low, but both still happen. Illusions are real until they are explained. Dreams are real until you wake up and discredit them. Highs are real until you feel low again and put them aside. So, what is real? My name is Jonathan Shank. I'm a detective, the only one based in Stratford upon Avon. But in a place like Stratford, there's not much going on. You never get CSI Avon, do you? So basically, I spend most of my time investigating which child has drawn the cock on the Shakespeare statue. But occasionally, I get involved in some serious stuff, which makes me look like a bloody era. This is the story of skyscraper highs and shit on those. This is my story. This is my life. I guess that was an example of a medium. On the one hand, the prime suspect of a drug trafficking case got away. On the other, I pulled some nice sunglasses from his pocket. Yeah, I'm not perfect. But I do what I want, when I want, and who I want, because I am in control. Back of the usual, please. Sir. What do you mean? Excuse me. Look, just do it, yeah? Do I know ya? Look, quit this whole Mr. Inconspicuous act and give me some coke. Yes? Yeah? What's inconspicuous mean? It means I'm smarter than you. Oh, hurry up. Gone. What? What's up with you today, you little spaz? Look, just give me some cocaine, right? I nearly ran out. Haven't I? What? A drug dealer about cocaine? That's like a. like a Catholic. Priest without a sex abuse charge. Ah, sorry. For the same price, I'll give you these. Look, these are tic tacs, I'm gonna punch you in the throat. A bit about earlier. I looked a bit shifty, so I thought I'd blend in. The only place you'd blend in would be in a. Twat festival. Suspect? Ah, I'm afraid 
it's not going too good at the moment. I was unable to locate him today, um, but given more time, I'm sure I can get my hands on it. Stop playing games, Shaq. Oh, sorry. Well, we'll find someone else to continue with that. No, no sorry, okay, I probably shouldn't have pursued like that. My trousers down, but... Because you've been selected for a special assignment. Hang on, what? So, a special assignment, yeah. Yes, given your excellent record here, the big leagues are calling that. The Metropolitan Police were looking for a detective to go undercover. Obviously, he couldn't be local to them, so Regents put forth candidates. Warwickshire Police put you forth, and you've got it. Um... Where will I be? Edge of London. I've got two words for you, mate. Oh, a whole year's salary paid, and all of your expenses as well. Statue, so there wasn't much to do. Anyway, it sounds like you're not happy to see me. No, I am. It's just a surprise, that's all. Surprises are good though, aren't they? Well, that depends. Well, I've got one. We're going to London tomorrow. That's not a bad one, how come? I have an assignment. No, so I'm not actually going with you then? Yeah, it's fine. They're setting up in a flat miles away from the gang. John, I don't know. It might be dangerous. It's not dangerous. They're just a bunch of pikeys. I, cl I cleared them out of Welford. I clear out of London. Yeah, I know. I'm still not sure I should be going. I might get in the way. You ain't getting in the way anyway. Come on, we need some time together. Don't we? Let's face it. You're not up to much these days, are you? Fuck it, let's do it. Yes! In life, we all have ups and downs. You know, we've all done things we're not proud of. And sometimes it feels like the whole world's against us. But it's about what you do when you're down to get yourself back up. You know, you can't let it get to you. Everyone employs their own different coping strategies. And that's why I say, when the stakes get high, get higher. What, 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 Some shit from a thrift Whoa. shop. Ice on the fringe is so damn frosty. The people like, damn, that's a cold ass honky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Shoot the black kid. Yeah. Yeah. Take a seat, John. Welcome, John. It's a privilege to have such an excellent and competent detective. <sighs> so, as you're aware, this this operation is dangerous and could require you to be pushed to your limits. A test of your mettle, so to speak. Your regional boss has checked this, and I'm sorry, but I'm obliged to check again. Do you, or have you ever, suffered from any sort of substance addiction? No way. Good. And you have no history of any mental difficulty, so we're good to go. I'm the man for the job. Or should I say, person? No, don't want to be sexist to the female policeman receptionist, do we? Mm. So first of all, I'll tell you about the gang. by a man known only as KP. Peers on no DNA records, so we're guessing he was born on the streets. Word has it that he went to school, though not for very long. Does it look like I have a pen? 
Can we be friends? Bring home and see a black man with a woman at the top. I'll show you the king. Anyway, he's responsible for many crimes, including theft, murder, extortion, torture, assault, vandalism, and littering. But unfortunately, we can't actually prove it. He runs the largest scrap iron firm this side of Manchester. This is down to threats, chaos, bullying, and the pure determination. His gang will follow him to whatever end, and he is becoming something of a celebrity around the area. We need you to inform us when his next big thing is. We can catch him in the act, and make sure he goes down for life. Otherwise, his disgusting influence may spread further. No, it certainly sounds like a scary bastard. I can't wait. So, basically, you're looking for some evidence to maybe catch him in the act of something? Pretty much. If we can do that, we can charge a lot of people with a lot of stuff. Also, you probably won't need a name change. Shank Shank's pretty streety already. Like a lamb shank. Pardon? Sort now. Well, we are holding two suspects who claim they're going to see this KP for work. Apparently they're recruiting men for work or something, which is worrying. You're going to see them in their stead, and you'll now meet your new partner. Right. Well, I need a piss. Thank you for your cooperation. Yeah. Scotland Yard ain't what it used to be, is it? It's like a fucking school. Shank. Beer? Briefed. Nah, boxers. No, you've been briefed on the operation? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a ride round the back. What's the name? Just get in. Do you think I'm enough? Just play the part. Yeah, hard man then. Your appointment. It's called my fucking fits, boy, yeah? Come on, turn up Two mans for work! Mans want work! This one looks a little delicate. I knew someone like you. He got raped! <laughs> oh, I'm the big, big man! Oh, hey, why do you want to fight? Uh, oh, God! <laughs> Challenge and initiation. Follow me. Well, in the merry month of May, no from me home, I started left the girl that you were nearly broken hearted. Salute the father dear, kiss me, darling. Father drank a pint of beer, me grief and tears to smother than enough to reap the corn and leaf. For I was born, God has dealt my father and bring his ghost and goblets and brand new pair of robes to rock the love of the bogs and frighten all the dogs on the rocky road. To double a one, two, three, four, five, hunt to hair and turn them down the rocky road. And all the ways to double a mic for all the dogs. In mull and gather night. I rested them so we are. Ah. Ah. Hey. Hey. Hello? 
Ragwan. Um, nice to meet you, Ragwan, but can you get out of my face? Alright, mate, I'll help you out. Hey, he's back! So, what's your name, big boy? Shank. Well, I'll shank you and your family, eh? <laughs> no, only if you fuck me over, eh? There's lots of work to do. Things were going surprisingly well. I've been accepted by the Pikey gang, and I think me and KP got on all right, actually. He'd even invited me for this special mission. Just me and him, meeting up with this big crime boss in London. Apparently she supplies most of the weapons that are going in and out of the city. So I can do that, secure a deal, get him the weapons, and then job done. <laughs> I think there's something you want to give us. Dad, I think these men want something from me. Turns out that this wasn't the crime boss of London at all. So I take it that 14 year old just groped wasn't her then? Sure, few bollocks. It was that sex fest. Oh, oh, right, okay. Ah, there she is. Look. All right, car. Looking like a ray of sunshine as always. If you lay one finger on me again, Pike, you'll quickly have us make a deal fall straight to zero. Ooh. Come on. Is is that a challenge? It's a warning. Take that means no handshakes then. I can do handshakes. I just don't enjoy spelling blocks to my father I don't believe we've met, you are. John, Farbrett's assistant. I fed you. I ignore what you said. I'm Cara. I run an enterprise of sorts around the city. Am I right in thinking that you and your colleague are interested in some sort of business transaction? Why the fuck do you think we're here? Yes, that's correct. We need some information of sorts about business personnel. Be, be a valuable source for that. I think I understand. Well, we have a number. Ah, we have a number of people at our disposal who are ready to do whatever you need to be done. And you will. Please tell me what you say. Well, as I was saying, we have a number of people at your disposal. Do a favour here, a favour there. Bam! Our deal is fulfilled. I said that, you slut! We can discuss these business favours, but I'm very busy at the moment with work and you ask my little girl. You have a little girl? No way, me too! I'm great with kids. I 
I, I can look after them. I can, I can even give you advice on things like womanhood, and, if you want. Thanks, but I don't believe you. The transvestite don't believe me. Do you want me to prove it to you here and now? Look, I don't think you need to. Ah! All right, little man. Can I get a cool high five? <laughs> Listen here, you little midget. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. I'm about to blow your little head off. You're going to give me a high five, or I'm going to blow your little brains out. Okay? Okay. Okay. Cara! 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 Well, it was lovely meeting you, John. I'll be in contact soon. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. You see? What did it say? Well, you know, it just gave me your names and your dealers and. So we should be in contact soon. Ah, all in a day's work. We make a great team, you and I. You and your uh, fancy talk, and me and my... Uh... Lack of hygiene. Ah, there's the wit ah. I need in the workplace, ha? Huh? Let's go chip it. You're buying. To be honest, I was actually quite enjoying being on the other side of the law for once. Just running around, causing chaos, doing what the fuck we wanted. Cigarette. No, I'm alright. I do drugs or prostitutes or shit food, but I'll draw a line at smoking. Well, you can keep your clean lung because a chain smoker beats a druggie any day of the week. Except the day he dies of lung cancer. The way I see it is that in years to come, when we're all dead, we turn into meaningless specks. That is it. That's all there is. We just, we just live and die. No, no meaning of nothing. Listen, it all means shit all, right? First, we live, we born, and then we die. And in the middle, we fuck about it, right? That's all there is. Why can't you accept that and enjoy it like I did? Instead of thinking that there's some higher meaning or, or purpose, eh? This is it. This is reality, right? But how far can the mind go to deceive even itself? Some pretty pig people have said otherwise, you know. Like who? Oh. I don't know. Philosophers. Philosophers. I'm a philosopher. You're a philosopher. Anyone who's ever had a fucking thought is a philosopher. Everyone's just guessing. I don't. I've never understood philosophers, pointless. Everyone's just guessing. No one really knows. Hey, can we just, you know, have some fun now? There's the man I know. There's a party that you're in. You up for it? Yeah. Uh, yes. Shay, have a good time with your first proper party. But remember, safety first. Some of these girls have got more diseases than Uganda.
family. Family of the government or some shit like that. Let me speak to you. Not. Blaming someone relentlessly for. We've got to a bit of a rut, haven't we? And you've gone into a bit of a down spiral. You see, funny thing about the down spiral is that if you turn upside down, it feels like you're getting higher. Don't you join me for a bit? It's so much better. You don't even know what's real. You're not going to die the as I said, conversely, like you fucking mess. Because you're so passionate, aren't you? Last time, bitch. Let's go. But John, let's just go back. Back to where it's my fault? I think so. Oh, no. so and it's my fault, right? Yes. What's wrong with you, man? More than drugs, my friend. Don't pretend that's your only problem. How far can the mind go to deceive even itself? I'm the man to help you, Sharon. You need to trust me. Yeah? Come down the construction site on Bank Street. I've got a problem that needs fixing. I don't know. I feel no, no! You get down here now! Okay, Pete. Okay, Pete! Oh, fucking Pikey. Well, he used to be a man. 
Oh, I'm just walking with you. opportunities in the area. That's what I do. I need quick work. I don't ask questions. Cash in hand. That's it. Guys. I didn't know he was a cop. Guys, how do you know? Are you even sure that he's a cop? How do you know him? Tell me how you know him. The job way back. What was the job? No, I don't have to tell you anything. Bull shot! You're going to admit what you are, or I'm going to beat it out of you. Or out of your little friend over there. No, I can't tell you. The lies! Lies! Lies and deception. It's just, you can't think of anything to get out of your own shitty mess. I've done more for you than anyone, and this is how I'm repaid. You never struck me as a cop. But now, 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 what? Now I'm going to have. You're a good shank. Too good to waste. So, I'll give you an ultimate. You plant this rusty metal thing in his head, and that gets rid of our problem and the problem we have over here. No! You can't actually expect me to do this. I expect you to do it! Or, I'll plant another rusty metal thing in your head. See, a cop would never kill his part, would he? Fuck off. Prove yourself. <laughs> ah -ah. I'll make it easier for you. Do you want to know what our job was? 
or me and Dennis here, we have to burn down a few houses. Right, it was for the Carter Homes Corporation. Right, they told us to burn down these houses and they can buy up the land for cheap. So we scattered the area. We checked and double checked it that there was no one there. At 12 o'clock we dashed the porch with gasoline. Then we set on fire. Within minutes it was turned to ashes. But you know what? The family that was supposed to be there, their, their flight, right? They were supposed to be on holiday, yeah? Their flight was cancelled. So they were in there. They were fucking roasted. Two kids, a mum and a dad all burnt to death that day. I didn't sleep for months. Right? I had all these lives on my conscience. I didn't come in it to be toyed and played with by you. Why do you think I turned to drugs for fuck's sake? So don't you fucking question me again. Leave him. Yeah, if we bring him back, if you, I've got. Outside, I've got a car. Yeah. 